Hey guys, it's Shannon with Apex Tarot Pure Spirit, and I'm just hopping in here to um, to tell you something that I heard in my spirit today. I was getting dressed, and I just heard the word uh, suicide, and I really felt. Sorry, I don't. I really don't mean to to use this camera as a, <laughs> I just see little pieces, and it bothers me. And I'm real personable with you guys, anyway, but. I really felt grieved, like really hard grieving on the inside of me when I heard that. Obviously, that's a shame that somebody would have to be so stressed to the max to take their own life. And guys, we really are in a sobering time. Every day is sobering. I don't care where the sun's at, but really, we are seeing a lot of stuff with people that have really been in their mind. And that second reading today... It showed, you know, people being up in their head in their bed and conspiring things and yet not talking about, some people not even talking about it and showing up in society like everything's okay and really they're, they're literally dying on the inside. And for whatever reason that the divine allowed me to feel that because I woke up this morning feeling some really bad energies, okay? Just, I just can't even tell you and I spoke on, um... I spoke on those videos that I was just really just feeling a the, a flood, I think is what I said on the runic alphabet. Uh, I went back to watch those a couple of times. Sometimes I'll do that because Spirit will speak to me a little bit more about some stuff. And, um, but I believe I actually used the word the flood. Something was uh, just a flood of emotions. And as I was listening to that, um, I was reminded that that is exactly what the divine had told us for this Capricorn season that we were going to see and feel is the flood of things. Okay. The overall energy was the 13th letter, which was the mem, which is the watery stuff. It represented a flood and things just rushing in because months ago in the eighth month itself, because that 13th letter, the, the mem that I'm talking about, take you right back to, it's death energy, take you to the eighth house, okay, which is a transformation and all that kind of stuff, but uh, months ago in the eighth month, in August, and I've gotten on here several times and talk about this, the divine had said death energy was coming, it was coming, it was coming, it was coming, it was coming to the wicked, okay, but now those people who have literally, I'm going to pause this for a second. Now those people who have literally gotten themselves so deep into their mind and their thoughts and they've given their way to the devil energy and didn't pass tests, even through the warning from the time that that word was given, okay, you got eight months, eight weeks, eight days, eight seconds, eight minutes, whatever it was, all those eights, eights, and everything keeps coming out on this channel's eight. It's, it's, it's sad because the divine is so, um, has been so merciful, putting his hand out, putting his hand out. I'll give you grace. I'll give you grace. I'll give you grace. But you're still under that time frame. You better get it right. You better get it right. But they were so chained. They were so chained. Uh, no, I want revenge. I want, and I kept hearing that in my spirit on that second read today. And they're, they're, they're so freaking far gone. That now the, the divine has, is, I mean, I can't tell you the grief that I felt on the inside of me when I heard that. I, it was just like it flooded it's suicide. And my God, people, if you are around people that if, if for whatever reason, one little thing on the inside of you is picking up something and you just say, are you okay? And they go, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You better pay attention to the tone of their voice. I'm not saying everybody. There's somebody out there I heard say, "Just I'm just going to commit suicide." That, that's the emotion that came through me. Because they don't know how to get out of their mind. They're so far gone. They're so prideful they don't want to come and say, I did this. Because then some people are facing jail time. So the only way out is, well, I'll just commit suicide. What a damn shame. Because they're going to end up not only hurting themselves, even for eternity, and their, their soul is just so lost at this point. I'm telling you, if you have any kind of gifting on the inside of you, and you feel anything to ask somebody, are you okay? 
pay attention to people around you, what they're saying, what they're not saying, because they need you right now. They need you. They're, especially uh, this time of the, of the year, people are celebrating Hanukkah and Christmas and getting around their family, and some people don't even have their family. And some people aren't strong strong enough to say, okay, well, I don't have my family, and they, they lose it. They're not strong for whatever reason. And I felt that so strong. I grieved. Oh, my God, I just can't even tell you. This is, this. is We're talking a lot of people are feeling this way. I felt it. Look, I just did a reading on my other channel, and there's a lot of people involved in a lot of stuff, and they don't know how to get out of it. They don't know how to get out of it. And they're putting their face on. And now I'm not talking about just normal, yeah, I'm just feeling down today or something like that. Because some people, I mean, you guys have had to watch me. I live by myself. I've had to literally pull pull my head up to the divine and say, you're the lifter of my head. And when you have connection with the divine and you're in truth, that stuff can't get you. But some people aren't connected to the divine. They're chained. They've made agreements with that dark side. And they don't believe that they can get out. But there is a way out. You have to pass the test. You have to resist, but they don't know how to because they're so sensual all the time. And so now it's gotten to the point where, because the divine just kept saying, come on, get it right, pass the test. But every time the testing come around, they, they're no good. Or they at least believe that they're not because they, so they, they just keep getting back into whatever it is. Well, if that's got to be the case, then that's why the divine's going to come in and take care of these people. But it, it's just a shame that some people, though, I don't know. Some some people are, are plotting their own death itself because they don't feel like they can face things. And that's a that's a lie from the devil. If you are going home at night and lay, laying in your bed because you put other people there in their head, but those people are able to still just get up and show up in truth and press through anyway, not allowing it to get to them. Because I just refuse that kind of stuff. If you can't find that inside of you to do that, you need to talk to someone. Because you're worthy to live. You're worthy to be... If you're still breathing, there's a reason why you're here. You got, we've been seeing so much grief come across my table. And like I said, this, this is a season where people are just like out of their mind because people are getting together. I could easily lose my mind because I haven't seen my grandbabies. And I, I, I get it out of me. I just cry it and it's okay. It's in your hands whenever I miss precious time with them. But I, I, I'm not going to kill myself over it. And apparently that pisses somebody off I guess in my connection because they can't get me down I, I just refuse it and that's how you attack the enemy I'm just you know it, it, look there's many many years ago I'm just chit chatting <laughs> everybody talked to you, I just did a reading that's uploading right now and um, many many years ago when I was in the church I was in a um, a gospel band Christian gospel band and we went to a church and we did a skit and we sang and we did the skit and I was the last person in the skit to get up and sing my little part of it and it's amazing because that's, that, that, that whole thing has played out in my life what I sang now singing is also a prophecy in a lot of ways especially if you got an anointing upon you, you that's why you got to be careful what, how you hear that something and what you say how you're directing your because we, we we really do uh have authority over our life to speak a thing and make it come true okay to some degree we do but the divine that was so prophetic though when i got up and i sang though none go with me still i will follow Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. you got to make up your mind that if anybody don't go with you, that wasn't word of the greatest, but if nobody goes with you, you're still going to go forward 
in victory, knowing that the divine's got his eye on you, and it's all for a test, if it don't make any sense to you. Why you even fell down in the first place. Get up. Look yourself in the face and say, I feel like crap, but I'm not giving up. It's not worth you just taking your own life out just because of whatever has happened. You're really going to, you know, somebody going to take their life and, and their, their, their children never see you. Even if you are facing something where bars, like having to go sit behind bars, at least you would be able to have some kind of... Uh, purpose behind those bars to make an influence with other people while you're in your jail cell because there are people lost even in those jail cells that need to be helped how dare you be selfish to take yourself away from your children to take yourself even away from uh, the, the divine to turn something so glorious for you out of something so negative shame on you to have those thoughts you got to pull yourself up out of it. My God. You're breathing today for some reason. If you've got your babies around you, appreciate that. Don't be sitting there going, Oh, if I go, if I go, I'll never see you. You, better, you just spend your time with them today, but do it in truth. Okay? You make the right decision. You make the right decision because you're killing your children by letting them see you in misery all, all the days of your life around them every second of the day for whatever reason or you're all oh, sad because it's a holiday and I did this to so and so and they're by their side because I know that people feel bad about my life I know they do <laughs> I damn well know they do but because they're chained and they're afraid to face the damn truth they're killing themselves it's, it's ridiculous it's a vicious cycle that the mind is going through. I don't want to go in jail, so I'll put you in jail in your own home. And I'll just, because I'm a thief, I'm a liar, I'm a cheat. And then I'll show up at, at, at you know, the, the holidays and with my little face on it. Merry Christmas! Happy Hanukkah! Whoever you are, whoever I'm talking to. And then you go home in your bed and it sucks all the days of your life because you just cannot face the truth. That's pride. That's pride. Anyway, I had a couple scattered parts in this video, but it's okay. I just feel so many different emotions today going through my head and for somebody else. It's like I, I don't know what is going on, but it's like the, the divine is allowing me to feel people it's very strange what I woke up and started feeling today literally being touched by other people's infirmities and what they're feeling and it's just like I don't know what that's called I can't remember what that's called uh, there's clairvoyance there I don't know I, it's just I just felt it Please don't take your life, whoever I'm talking to. Please just face the truth and trust the divine to use you right where you're at, even through whatever it is that you've done. Don't completely move yourself away and then your children wonder, where'd mommy and daddy go? Even if you have to go away to a jail cell, at least they... They, they can be told, well, we can only go for a little while every couple of weeks or every weekend to see them right now or whatever the case. At least you still be able to lay your eyes on them. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I know I'm talking to somebody. So if you've been having suicidal thoughts, just let, uh, just let those thoughts just bypass you and take captive of those things. Though none go with you, you must follow the great divine of the universe that will give you hope for your tomorrow, for your next second. You know, I could really be, and I'm sure I'll have moments that I'm going to cry in the next couple of days, you know, because I know that all my family is getting together and they know I'm sitting here alone. <laughs> 
they're going to be eating their, you know, big old feasts and know that I'm sitting here eating a salad or something. And with their little fake faces, Merry Christmas. And I'll be sitting here with my tears, but I'd, I'd be damned if I'm giving up. Like I said, get it out, cry it out, and face the truth. The divine knows who you are, and if the divine allowed me to hear your words today, then obviously the divine loves you. Don't be afraid. Whoever I'm talking to, whoever's depressed, whatever you've done, whatever somebody's done to you, unless you release, you will never be released from those chains. A flood is coming. Are you going to get in the boat and be protected? Because the divine said this is the season of a flood. Are you going to have the divine come and put a flag up on you and mark you? And go, no, that's my that's my child. I'll protect that. And I'll even use something out of the situation that they're coming out of and make something beautiful out of it. I, I'm being... Um, reminded of a deck of cards that I had last year. I think it was the vice versa deck. And in that vice versa deck, the devil on one side is turned around. And there's a flower growing right out of hell itself. <laughs> it's unheard of. That picture, I think I did a whole video on that on that picture. And um, I said, hurry up, run. The devil's not looking. <laughs> If you don't think that you're able to grow in hellfire, look, we serve a creator that created the whole universe. And everything's possible, even if nobody's there with you. Even if you're in the inferno of hell itself, there's a lotus flower growing right there. <laughs> so whatever reason why the Spirit brought that up, He did, and so let that encourage you. Don't commit suicide, whoever I'm talking to. I don't care if you feel like the whole world is against you or you made somebody else feel that way and now you're dealing with that. If you can forgive, then you're forgiven. If you did that and they don't want your forgiveness, well, that they'll wipe, wipe yourself clean and move on. That's Now they're going to have to deal with karmic activity. But if you go out into eternity and you kill yourself, think about the karmic payment on that. I don't think you. I don't really think you want to deal with that. I really don't. Saw the devil today in my first reading that I actually deleted, and the card deck that I was using. It's two people that are back to back and they're tied up with their hands and they're six feet under the ground and the devil's standing on top of them. You think that you're in hell right now, I wouldn't take a chance on it. On suicide. And then have the legacy of your babies when they get to be teenagers or whatever. And What's your story, huh? Mommy and daddy, they that killed herself. What a shame. Is that what you really want to leave behind? Look, if anybody is lonely and you, and you live in the Kansas City area, I would love to, ha to have dinner with you. Spend some time with you. To let you know that you're not alone. Even if you didn't do something that like broke the law or something like that. And you just are lonely for the holidays. Well, I would love to cook for you. I'm a good cook. I mean, I don't really want to spend the holidays alone. I spent my birthday alone. I spent Thanksgiving alone. <laughs> but though none go with me, I'm still going to follow the creator of hope. So, I just want to share that with you. You're not alone. Shalom.